you for being with us. We're very much looking forward to sharing some exciting news with you today. For the past decade, we've had smartphones in our pockets and we've probably all owned about five or six of them. The design, specs, performance, and what these devices can do for us has far surpassed what we thought possible. But let's be honest, over the last few years, newly launched phones have been slightly improved updates from the previous version specs, with mostly the same design, even while demand for differentiated and personalized experiences has increased. But what if I told you more could be done? As we've hit peak smartphone, as many pundits and experts have said, your expectations and desire for something new, something fresh has increased, especially in the wake of the 5G era. As we look for ways to address these expectations, we've launched the Explorer Project, an initiative from LG Mobile that aims to breathe new life into what makes a smartphone, to envision what it ought to be to design what it should be by closely examining the user experience and breaking from the routine smartphone form factors, the Explorer project imagines different approaches to the existing premium smartphones that all look and function the same. The Explorer project allows us to have the courage to tackle new challenges, to take risks and pursue new opportunities. It's where you'll see new and different but practical innovations from LG Mobile. Our philosophy of delivering these practical innovations to you will come to life in these devices. This is not just about one product, however, but rather a whole line of new and innovative form factors and experiences you'll see from LG Mobile today and in the future. We know we couldn't have done this without the support from our valued partners who shared and understood our pioneering vision. Now let's meet our Explorer Group partners who were with us from the beginning of this adventure. To optimize the performance of the products of the Explorer, optimize the performance of the products of the Explorer project that will bring new and different experiences to consumers. And we have worked hard to optimize the performance of our Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G chipset so that consumers can fully enjoy the new and different mobile experiences more reliably and for a longer period of time. How has the partnership been with LG? Well, it's been extraordinary. We could not have asked for a better partner. When you have a main screen where you can watch a show and you have a second screen where you can do other things, it becomes a perfect way how to watch a show on mobile. Combining media viewing and chat is a difficult problem. There's only so much space on a screen. But this device makes the impossible possible. We can't wait until people experience Rave on this revolutionary device. Rave Well has always been looking to provide differentiated browsing experiences. But to do so, we were in need of a new approach, especially in terms of smartphone form factor. LG Mobile suggested the right solution we needed. the Explorer program in LG Wing, we are able to provide additional functionality in our intuitive user interface. Viewers will be able to easily access playback control and other features which are historically hidden on other devices. Tubi is proud to be part of LG's launch today, and we look forward to partnering on other products in the future. And now it's time to fly. Let me introduce you to the bold and adventurous start of our exploration. The first product of the Explorer project, LG Wing. Flight 
to new spaces. LG Wing. Hi there, my name is Austin Evans and today I have the pleasure of greeting you as an LG Explorer expert and I'm honored to reveal the first product of LG's Explorer project to the world. I'm happy to introduce a product that is truly unique and shows a very new direction for LG to explore. Today we're going to get a hands-on look at the LG Wing and get a real user's perspective on how this device can provide a genuinely new mobile experience feature by feature. First up, we need to unbox the device, and who better to do that than the king of unboxings himself, Lou from Unbox Therapy. Today I've got something that I'm certain you've never seen before. I've looked at many smartphones, and you know I'm always on the hunt for that next futuristic form factor, and I think that's what we're about to find inside of this box right here. Now, first glance, you get the lid off and you think to yourself, that's just a standard smartphone. Then you start playing with the packaging and you notice something is a little bit different. And when you pull the phone out, that's when things go to the next level. Boom. There it is, my friends. This is the LG Wing. In a sea of the same basic bar type design phones, this is something truly unique. The swivel action feels mechanically solid. That's smooth. Goes without saying that when you pop this baby open, you're going to turn some heads. But more than that, this swivel design changes the functionality of the phone itself. Starting with the home screen that's been completely redesigned. This balanced grip. But really, this design is perfect for people who like to watch a lot of video on their phone like I do. Like when you're watching a video on your phone and you touch the screen by accident, the controls pop up, or when you get a text or call right at the most crucial scene, no more. The different grip means nothing interferes with the main screen and the grip lock button prevents accidental touches on the second screen. Another problem this dual screen setup solves is when you're using your phone for GPS and then you get a call. Now you have the GPS on the main screen and the call on the second screen. No screen interference, no missed turn. The main screen for your main task and the second screen for your calls, messages and notifications. It's simple and hassle free. It's easy to tell from the design that the wing was designed for comfortable viewing without interference. So, it's only natural that the wing is sporting a P-OLED display. When the display turns on, what's the first thing you notice? Well, you notice what's not there. No hole, cut out, no notch, just 6.8 inches of pure, uninterrupted P-OLED real estate. And despite it having two stacked screens, LG's P-OLED tech makes the wing thinner and lighter than you'd expect. So then you gotta be asking yourself, hey, no hole punch, no notch, and where's the front camera? Well, it's a pop-up camera and it's 32 megapixels. In the back you have a 64 megapixel main shooter and two ultra wides. A 12 megapixel ultra wide for shooting in swivel mode and a 13 megapixel ultra wide for basic mode. Now you can do a whole dialogue scene in one take, record the action you want and your reaction at the same time. And if you happen to drop the phone by accident, Check out what happens in slow motion. For all you video files, the LG Wing comes with gimbal camera features. It has six motion sensors inside and stabilization software that can compensate for shakes and bumps in three axes. That means your shot will come out silky smooth. The Wing's form factor also gives you better balance and a more natural grip for shooting. And just like the gimbal cameras you're familiar with, you have the joystick on screen to tilt and pan the camera manually, and also the four gimbal shooting modes follow, pan follow, FPV, and lock mode. Now having a gimbal attachment is great, but you have to carry it around, set it up, and by the time you're ready to shoot, maybe that moment is already passed. This is a lot faster. Now, these specialized functions are great, but where I think this phone really shines is in how useful it can be in everyday use. Like when you want to search while you're watching Netflix or following along to a cooking video and setting the timer at the same time. Multitasking feels easy and natural with this setup. Look how many different things you can do. And if you have a favorite combination of apps you always use together, you can pair them on the second screen to let you open them with one touch. And what makes the Wing stand out from other dual screen phones is the fact that when you don't want to use the second screen, you can make it disappear in a snap. Now you're in basic mode. This type of daily use means the hardware has to be solidly built. 
The swivel mechanism's swivel action has been tested over 200,000 times so that it works smoothly for years to come. It also has a water repellent coating that makes it water resistant for daily life. Plus, on the main screen, you've got an in-display fingerprint sensor. Even when using your normal apps, the second screen makes things easier, especially for one-handed use. There's nothing like the convenience of having video playback controls ready on the second screen. Futuristic form factor. Futuristic form factor. Or scrolling through the gallery on the second screen while viewing the full-sized photo on the main screen. If you like making videos, editing video on the wing is a breeze. Like professional editors that use two monitors, the wing's two screens make the controls feel less cramped. With all these great features, you don't want your data speed lagging behind. That's why the wing is 5G enabled. And it's got enough battery power to last you all day. So this smartphone, obviously, it's much different. It's a completely new approach. I always appreciate ambition from manufacturers when they don't just do the status quo. Yes, it will work as a standard smartphone in this slab format, but when you pop it open, obviously, you can tell you're dealing with something quite different. Is this going to be the smartphone for everyone? I don't know, but maybe we're looking at the future. Why, thank you, Lou. So now that we've seen the key features of the wing up close, let's now see how the device can be used in real life. Alongside Josh, the Korean Englishman, Azzyland, and Zach King. I've also been using the phone in advance, so let's see how that went. The Wing was designed with careful consideration to not force users to change the conventional smartphone experience that everyone's familiar with. So, if you want to use it like a conventional smartphone, you can. Upright in portrait mode, just like you always have. Alright, let's try unlocking it first. For everyday use, it looks just like any premium smartphone. Nice build, big screen, and three lenses on the camera. The rear camera is 64 megapixels. Alright, and it has all the popular camera modes, like portrait mode, time-lapse video, and video with ASMR and voice bokeh. This beautiful screen is a huge 6.8 inch full HD OLED. The 20.5 by 9 screen ratio display without any distracting notches offers a pretty immersive viewing experience. Video looks great on this flawless display. When you're watching a video and a call or a notification comes in, it interrupts the viewing experience. And until now, there hasn't been a good way around that. Which brings me to what makes this phone really unique. The swivel. Swiveling up that front screen and getting access to that second screen feels great and opens up a lot of new possibilities, like watching uninterrupted full-screen video while simultaneously interacting with notifications. Even if I just use the phone like a conventional smartphone most of the time, being able to swivel that screen up and use this 3.9-inch OLED second screen simultaneously is really cool. On the main screen in landscape swivel mode, you immediately see these featured apps. Rotating the second screen out to watch video feels great and allows you to watch full screen while holding the phone vertically, which does feel more like a natural position for your wrist. The second screen feels sturdy and makes a convenient, comfortable grip for your phone. And of course, this second screen opens up a whole range of possibilities when it comes to user experience innovation. Using the device in swivel mode makes the second screen UX stand out as really well thought through. And if you want to use the second screen only as a grip, then you can turn on Grip Lock, which locks the controls on the screen to prevent you from pressing anything accidentally. This second screen really opens up a whole new user experience. One of the standout partnerships that will have integration with the Wing UX is a new premium browser called Naver Whale, developed by Naver. Perhaps the biggest benefit of using the LG Wing with Naver Whale is being able to put a floating picture-in-picture -picture window on the front display. This makes picture-in-picture -picture viewing viable without blocking a huge part of the screen. And watching videos on sites like YouTube through Whale enables an expanded UX that allows you to watch a video on the main screen while scrolling through videos or searching through comments on the second screen. So being able to watch full-screen video while multitasking is a great improvement on what's been possible until now. In the world of smartphones that's full of minimal design changes from one phone to the next, 
The LG Wing offers multitasking during uninterrupted viewing through a genuinely interesting innovation. So I've gone over the new viewing experience that the Wing offers and how to use one app across the two screens, but there's plenty more to come. Azilan will now join us to further explore how to use two apps at the same time with the Wing. Azzy, over to you. Hello, citizens of Azilan. I'm going to be doing something totally different than I normally do. I'm going to be testing out the LG Wing. You're probably thinking Azzy is in way over her head, and you would have been right. But this smartphone is supposed to make my life way easier. So in the spirit of life hack videos, which you know I love, let's take this baby out for a spin. When I first got the phone, the first thing that stood out to me was its one-of-a-kind design. Now at first glance, it looks like your standard premium smartphone. You can multitask with the multi-windows features like any other smartphone. But if you swivel out the main screen on the top, then the second screen reveals itself. This really got my attention. Because just by looking at the layout of the two displays, you can already tell how useful they can be. As you can see, having the second app on the second screen is infinitely better than any multi-window feature. In basic mode, you can slide up the divider in the middle to adjust the size of the apps in the multi-window feature. But as you can see, the screen space is very limiting. So let's test this puppy out and see just how much we can do now that we have a second screen. Shopping is made easy because you don't have to toggle between apps to compare prices on different sites. Hmm, I better compare prices. This one's cheaper! You can play games while browsing the web and totally not use it to cheat. What is another name for adrenaline? What is another name for adrenaline? I can do tutorials and take calls without interruptions. As you hear with the main tutorial, press this around with some foundation. Fix this. Oh no, how did she do it? Uh, uh. Hello? Have you left yet? Yeah, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm on my way. When I get a call, it comes in on the second screen so that nothing appears over the navigation screen as it's running. Hello? Where are you? I'm literally here. You can't see me. I'm waving my hands. I can watch movies and video chat my friends in real time, no matter how far we are or how close. So to recap, I've so far shown you guys all these cool new ways I'm able to use my phone to kick in some upgrade to my everyday life, like being able to text my friends while watching videos, secretly getting a little extra help on the side while I play trivia, being able to use the full screen for navigation without interruption, and comparing prices at the same time. And of course, being able to do multiple things at once. But wait, it's not over just yet. Here's another little life hack to make multitasking easier. You can pair up any two apps together that you use frequently. The phone doesn't make me feel like I'm having to learn new tricks to use the features. Instead, what it does is make what I already love doing on my smartphone easier and better. It allows for a customized and infinite user experience. They'll definitely make your life more convenient while letting you do more. And these are just some of my favorite features. There are still countless unexplored experiences for you to create on your own. So Azyland has just shown us some of the possibilities that the LG Wing opens up. But I'm excited to see what more this new device has to offer. So up next, we're going to be talking about something that is becoming an ever bigger part of smartphone usage, and that of course is content creation. So LG has been at the forefront of technology and specifically smartphone cameras for years now. So today, creator and illusionist Zach King is going to join us to talk a little bit about what creating content with the Wing is like. Hey there, I'm Zach King, and to For those of you who don't know me, I make magic videos on the internet. And today I'm going to show you some of the camera features of the LG Wing. And I'm also going to make a magic video with it. As a filmmaker, I'm always looking for new ways to enhance how I tell my stories. And technology makes what I do possible and inspires new ideas. One piece of tech in particular is a gimbal. It's a handheld device that uses counterweight to stabilize the camera as you move it around. And you can use a gimbal to make dynamic camera moves look professional and cinematic. 
Most phones have a built-in Steadicam feature to digitally remove the camera shake. But a gimbal uses physics to suspend the camera and allows you to focus the camera on one particular object as you move around. The LG Wing has a built-in gimbal motion camera, which unlocks new creative possibilities by bringing gimbal technology to your smartphone. You don't have to buy a separate device or carry around extra bulk equipment, and you don't have to worry about problems like the shutter response. All the functionality of a traditional gimbal is seamlessly integrated into your phone. The embedded gimbal integrates six motion sensors and advanced stabilization software. Gimbal mode can be accessed instantly when you open the camera and swivel up. All of the standard gimbal controls appear here on the second screen. This allows you to view your footage on the main screen without any controls getting in the way. Normally, I'd use two hands on a smartphone to get a really stable shot. But with the second screen, you can hold it up just with one hand, like a traditional gimbal stick. You have your joystick, your zoom, and different recording modes, like first person view, pan follow, follow, and lock mode. And today, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes and show you how we use the LG Wing to make some magic. Here's the video we made. No, no, wait, don't go. Wait. You want to see how we made it? So I'm going to use gimbal mode for this shot, which will make it really smooth as I'm running down the street. So I'm going to be running right here, and then you're going to follow like this here. Three, two, one, go. No, no, wait, don't go. Oh. So that one was shot in pan follow mode? Yeah. Well, let's do it in follow mode. No, no, wait, don't go. Then, to make the bike appear, we used lock mode to freeze the frame during the jump cut. Good. Ready? Go. Wait! Next, we edited the video. You can scroll through the thumbnails to see a preview of the videos. You find the best take, click on the edit icon, and it takes you to the video editor app. By having the controls on the second screen, that frees up your main screen for the footage. Then swivel down and upload the video. So there you go, a new magic video. Besides gimbal mode, the video camera also comes with time lapse and slow motion. I can even adjust the audio caption options here. We've got basic, ASMR, and voice bokeh. Another cool feature is dual recording mode. If I open it here, you'll see two windows pop up. And I can move them around to the right. I'm gonna keep it back over here. But I like this feature because I can actually use it to talk to the camera and the audience directly and show off the illusion at the same time. I've got this little 3D print here and it says illusion. And if I turn it the other way, it says magic. Pretty cool. Now, this is a cool little feature. If you're like me, you might drop your phone a lot. And in case you do, the pop-up camera automatically retracts itself when you drop it. Check this out. See that? Now it's there. So, there you have it. With the LG Wing, you can film professional-grade videos with just your smartphone. I'm excited to see how people use this as they create and tell new stories. Alright, so now I'll be taking over from here on out for the Q&A session. So we've heard about the new and different form factor, experiences, and changes the wing is able to bring, and that was great, but I still have a few questions. So to help me, I've prepared a little session with the engineers of the LG Wing, who will be able to give me an in-depth breakdown of what makes this phone so unique. So let's take some time and hear from them directly. There's been a few smartphones trying to innovate with the tried and tested conventional form factor including a variety of options which use some kind of flexible display. Why did LG choose the swivel form factor? Products featuring flexible displays in the current smartphone market need to be unfolded or open to experience its usability. We thought a lot about how consumers can use multi-screens without having to change the habits they're already used to. LG Wing before swiveling retains the experience of existing smartphones and by swiveling up the main screen when needed, 
opens a whole new usability. It was the most optimal way to realistically render a familiar but new and different user experience. As a result, consumers can use multi-screens more conveniently, and with just swiveling up and down, infinitely expand their user experience. All these explanations make so much sense, but I can only assume that it was extremely difficult to implement the swivel design. What was the process like? When we considered the design and structure of LG Wing, our highest priority was to ensure the components are durable even after repeated swiveling motions, and when swiveling the screen to provide a smooth and natural, luxurious feeling. Simultaneously, we faced a challenge of reducing weight and thickness of the device. First, we developed an ultra-compact hinge that can operate with a sturdy and premium feel. To achieve this, we applied the technologies of dual spring, dual lock, and hydraulic damper to the hinge. The dual spring structure distributes the forces applied when swiveling into two, while maintaining a uniform tension over the rotating ball to ensure stable structure and durability. Also, the dual lock further distributes the forces applied to the hinge to prevent loosening or disconnection of the main screen from the second screen. Finally, a specifically designed hydraulic damper absorbs shock when the main screen is swiveled, producing a smooth gliding motion. Another challenge in design was the need for a new structure that is thin and lightweight, but also durable as well. For this purpose, a topological optimal design and composite lightweight material were applied. Because the device is a combination of two displays, weight was a challenge to overcome. The weight of LG Wing, which started off at 314 grams in its initial development stage, was reduced by minimizing thickness of the metal alloy frame and optimizing the layout of components. In addition, by applying a perforation technique and with more than 30% of the mass being comprised of lightweight composite material, we were able to increase the strength of the body while reducing 16.1 grams in weight. And by minimizing areas of the hinge module to leave only the functioning parts, we could shave off another 5.3 grams in weight. Through this process, a final weight of 260 grams was achieved, making LG Wing the lightest among new form factors and 20 grams lighter than a smartphone you can fold. Okay, so a big concern for me is with dropping the phone or exposing it to the elements, especially while I'm shooting my videos. Especially on a bigger shoot, it's not uncommon for me to, you know, drop a device or two. So how durable is the wing? LG Wing was designed to withstand rigorous testing in terms of quality. Durability tests include drop tests from various angles to consider when the device is swiveled or not, stress tests, shock tests, as well as touch sensor and key press tests. Among the numerous tests, we focus most on the bending test. After testing swivelly movements more than 200,000 times, we found that a steady motion was maintained even after extended usage. To prevent scratches and improve motion, we applied a high lubricity material around the second screen so that no damage is made on the second screen when swivelling. Also, we tested its basic quality by conducting more than 20 tests in various environmental conditions, including heat, cold, humidity, dust, and water. Water and dust resistance were also provided by applying a water repellent coating to support it for everyday use. In addition to internal testing, the device was sufficiently verified by external certification bodies. It underwent testing based on a military standard recognized by the U.S. Department of Defense, being certified in nine categories, which includes impact tests that drop devices at a height of 1.2 meters from 26 different angles. Okay, great. So big thanks, of course, to the engineers for answering some of our questions. It's been really interesting to learn about some of the reasoning behind the unique design and the details of how this product came to life. I've got to say, for me, the LG Wing kind of came out of nowhere. It does a really good job of bringing a very unique concept to the form factor that's basically been perfected over the years. So before we end, I have one final question. What is LG Mobile's ultimate vision through this Explorer project? Throughout its concept creation and development process, we let ourselves dream a bit to explore new form factors, new experiences, new adventures. Together with our partners, we set out with the goal of constantly creating and taking risks to challenge ourselves to pursue new opportunities with a pioneering spirit. We are confident the Explorer project will offer new and different experiences for those of you who want to dream with us. And it's our promise that we will never stop and we will continue to explore new areas and grow together. We hope you will join us on this journey to explore new ideas and new beginnings. 
All right, so that has been a detailed look at the LG Wing. So what do you think? I'm very much looking forward to seeing how the Wing can impact how we use smartphones and what changes this new tech will bring. It has been a lot of fun to be part of LG's new adventure, so thank you all very much for tuning in to the event. Lastly, if you want to see the Wing in more detail or you just want to take a closer look at the experience, please visit the microsite right over here and enjoy the Wing as much as you want. For me, that is going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.